In this work, we present the Neural Lander, provably stable drone landing control using Learn Dynamics. The Neural Lander improves upon the baseline controller by incorporating Learned Dynamics. As you can see, the Neural Lander is capable of smoothly landing in ground effect. 3D landing involves horizontal and vertical motion. Our method still performs well here. We learn residual dynamics and cancel them out in our controller. We also employ spectral normalization to improve stability and robustness guarantees. Integral control is a common method to account for steady state error. However, the integral gain must be carefully tuned for each task because the performance of the controller is sensitive to the integral gain. We tested different proportional and derivative gains for the neural lander. The test showed our method is less sensitive to gain tuning than the baseline controller with integral action. During our tests, we saw issues when the integral gain was too large. During takeoff, the drone exhibited significant overshoot and oscillation. And then during landing, that overshoot and oscillation translated into a high impact velocity. With careful tuning of the integral gain, the baseline controller with integral action can have good performance. However, this is task specific. In our next set of tests, we have the drone track a moving trajectory very close to the ground. As you can see, the neural lander outperforms the baseline controller not only in tracking the desired height, but also in tracking the desired horizontal position. Baseline controller is the neural lander with FA equal to zero. Note that the baseline is fairly good because it considers the feed forward term the desired acceleration. Our final tests show the neural lander can work in complex environments. First, we retrained FA for the new environment. The task we chose was to fly the drone very close to a table. As before, the neural lander outperformed the baseline controller in tracking the desired height and the desired horizontal position. Our method works in the new environment because we learn FA table, the residual dynamics near the table. As you can see, when we employ spectral normalization, our learned model makes reasonable predictions about the dynamics near the table.